special <laughs> delivery for mommy. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. I have a letter. Let's see what it says. <laughs> you can oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bill. That's not the kind of mail I was hoping to get. All right, Mr. Mailman. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Today we are talking about letters. And um, if you guys remember, we talked about Saul a few weeks ago. Do you remember learning about Saul? And what happened? Saul had his name changed, didn't he? What was his name changed to? Paul. To Paul. That's right. So we are going to talk today about Paul and one of the ways that he served the church and the way that he taught the church and the way that he spread God's love. So we're going to read a short little story from our Spark Story Bible about Paul. Paul's job as an apostle was to tell the story of Jesus to everyone he met. He traveled all over his part of the world and started many churches with people who believed in Jesus. When Paul could not travel to visit his friends in Rome, he wrote them a letter to share God's love. Dear Christians in Rome, there are three things I tell people who have never heard of Jesus or God. One, Jesus was human, like us, and God, both at the same time. Two, Jesus came so people in the world would know how much God loves us. Three, believing in Jesus and knowing God's love changes your life. Everyone should know this good news. Are you telling people this good news too? The peace of God be with you, Paul. So, what was one of the ways that Paul taught the church? He told people about Jesus that never heard of Jesus in the Romans because he couldn't go to Rome. He um, sent them a letter. He sent them a letter, that's right. Since he couldn't go all the way, he sent them a letter. Now, have you guys ever thought about how much work and how much time it takes to get a letter in the mail? It's so easy nowadays, because usually we just send an email or a text, right? And we can get a message there, like, immediately. So what it would it have been like in Paul's time, I wonder, when he had to send a letter? They didn't have trucks and airplanes. I know. What do you think they did? Uh, somebody maybe had to walk. Maybe it went on a donkey. Maybe on a boat. It would probably take a lot longer, wouldn't it, for them to get those letters. I bet they were really excited when they got those letters in the mail. Because they had to wait a long time. So the thing I love about this is that Paul is using his words. Our words are pretty powerful. And he's using his words to encourage the church. And to tell them about... Christ's love and to teach them and to tell them they're doing a great job and keep it up. And I wonder if that's something that we can do. Um, Anna's going to read us a book now about the power of our words. And this is one of my all time favorite picture books uh, in the history of picture books. And it's called Say Something. Say Something. The world needs your, the world needs your voice. Mine, yes, yes. Go ahead, it doesn't need to be public, as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, with creativity. If you see somebody alone, someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, idea, say something with confidence. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. If you see an 
injustice, say something peaceful, inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening. But keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Say some people. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire heal. Can inspire heal and change form. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? <laughs> Thank you, Anna. I love that book. What do you like about that book? That it encouraged people to say something. Mm-hmm. I think that our words are very powerful. Our words can hurt people with mm-hmm. their power. Our words can also heal people with their power. Don't you think? We can use our words to encourage people, to tell them they're doing a great job. We can use our words to share God's good news with people. We can use our words to spread love and compassion. Um, This book talked about how you can use your words to stand up for what's right. If you see something in the world that's wrong, you can use your words to stand up for what's right. This morning we saw people saying something, didn't we? Mm -hmm. They were using their voices. They were using their writing and they were using their feet Mm -hmm. to spread a message that you cannot treat people differently just because of the color of their skin. And some of the signs said Black Lives Matter. That's right. We saw signs that said Black Lives Matter. And there were hundreds of people this morning (laughs) that were marching um, and spreading that message. And I think that was a really great way for people to say something. They were protesting. They were, that's right. And you guys may be kids, but your voice is just as important as anybody else's voice. Your voice is just as important, if not more important than grown-up voices. The world needs your voice. So that means that you guys can spread messages of love. Mm -hmm. If you hear something that's not good, you can speak out against it. And you can use your voice to say, that's not how we treat people. That's not what this world needs. And you guys are really good at that. We are lucky to have you guys and your great voices and your good hearts in our lives. How can you use your voice to say something this week? Can you send like, somebody like, a message, like video yourself? Like, That's a good idea. Send a video message to someone. I like that idea. Uh, That's great. I want to see your ideas about how you guys can say something this week, just like Paul, how Paul encouraged the church and sent letters to the church. The world needs your voice. The world needs your voice. That's right. I love that. Thank All right, Anna. Would you like to close us in prayer? Sure. Nice and loud so we can hear you. So we can hear your voice that the world <laughs> needs. <laughs> Let's pray. God, you give us mouths to speak, hands to write, arms to embrace, and feet to get moving. Bless the word of our mouths, the messages of our hands write, the strength of our arms, and the miles our feet walk, that, that they may all be done to tell, show, and bring others the message of your life. Amen. Amen, friends. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Go and say something great this week. And we will see you on Friday on Zoom. Bye, everybody.